Hi, this is TJ Klune. I am the author of such books as The House in the Cerulean Sea, Under the Whispering Door, and the recent Sunday Times bestseller, In the Lives of Puppets. And I'm here to answer your questions. I can't wait to see what you have. Nick, if I could be a character for one of my books, I would most likely want to be either Chauncey from The House in the Cerulean Sea or Nurse Ratched from In the Lives of Puppets. And they're two polar opposites, but that's how I kind of feel like my brain is. Plus, Nurse Ratched saying, engage empathy protocol is how I have to deal with most human beings. The stories that have inspired me are vast and many, but the one that I think about a lot, there's two different stories that inspired me a lot as a writer and, a, and as a person, I think. The first would be Diana Wynne-Jones' Howl's Moving Castle, which is one of my favorite books of all time. The other book is a, a book by an author, an American author named Robert McCammon. It's a book called Boy's Life, and is a, an adult novel about a 12-year-old boy who is growing up in the 60s in a southern town, and it deals with mysticism, fanaticism, and racism. And it was the first time when I read it as a child, it was one of the first times I'd read a book that dealt so specifically with racism, and it opened my eyes to many different things. Mia, if I could build my own home, it would probably be something along the lines of the tea shop in Under the Whispering Door because that tea shop was the thing that I worked the most on. Given that 95% of the book takes place in that one location, I wanted to make it an unofficial main character so when readers are there, they felt like they actually visited there. And I know that the layout of that, that tea shop so well that I would love to be able to actually live there because I know every crook and cranny in every corner that exists there. Georgina, breaking your hearts with every single book is part of my repertoire, but that also means that I get to put your heart back together at the very end. It may not be in the same shape that it once was, but it'll still be recognizably your heart, maybe just with new emotions that you've never felt before. For people who have heard about my books but have not read them yet, I'm of two minds. I could either be very, very kind and nice and tell them to start with The House in the Cerulean Sea, where a lot of people have recently discovered me. Or I could be a complete jerk and tell them to start with Wolf Song because that will tear apart their entire body and soul and make them experience things that they never thought possible. And I'm probably going to go that direction. People should start with Wolf Song. You're asking if Arthur and Linus got married. Well, maybe one day we'll have to find out. We'll see. Thank you so much for submitting your questions. Thank you for watching. And all of the books that I mentioned are available now.